What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Yours truly, Kendra Bring Not here, back again with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Conversations with yours truly, Kendra Bring Not here, episode six. Episode six. Man, I had to I had to come back with you guys with another episode, and I, I couldn't find a good a good guest until my mind just started kind of like that that uh that light, that light coming. Not like Bob. It was like, oh, let me get, let me text this guy real quick. He did it. So, someone that I had the opportunity to really grow up with when you really think about it, because we went to the same schools, three, primary, three, middle, primary, and <laughs> school. That's crazy. So crazy, man. The one another, Dennis, Eugene. Paul, oh, how you doing today, buddy? I'm doing fantastic, man. How you doing, bro? Pretty good, bro. Pretty good. How you feeling today? Another Tuesday. Day off, so hey. <laughs> Make the best of it. Yeah, man. We're on the second half of the NBA season. Before we get into that, how you feeling about that All-Star game? I I rock with it. All-Star <laughs> game was, was cool. Um, I I, I got to backtrack to see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause uh, Halle Burton and Dane went stupid, and I, two it was just crazy. Cause two hundred points in in a game is crazy in in general, but two hundred points, bro. That was going two hundred points. <laughs> but no, I I rock with it. I mean, I wish it was more competitive. More competitive, more yeah. Like like. I, like I want to see people hoop, bro. I don't want to. I know you can shoot, and I know you can shoot from deep. I want to see you see if you can cross up LeBron James, bro. Like that's that's all I'm asking. Like, can yeah. you can you can you cross up somebody, bro? You want the one v one? Let's get a one v one, bro. Just spread out. How, how LeBron said Kobe did. Yeah. Just <laughs> spread out, bro. I want. <laughs> I need to see somebody get cooked. But. Yeah, it was it was straight. I rock with it. You watched that slam dunk contest? No, I did not watch it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it was. I mean, no. Let me take that back. I I watched maybe like bits and pieces of. So I tried to. I think I was at work when it was on. So I tried to just do bits and pieces, and bro, it was just every time I saw a dunk, it was just not good. I mean, Matt mm -hmm. McClung went crazy. But, I mean, like, he had to because, I mean, ain't nobody else is going to show up. I thought Jalen Brown was going to do something, but it is what it is. <laughs> but Matt, Matt McClung, he 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 deserved his uh his uh trophy because he cleared – who was it? On the he cleared Shaq. Like, he, he could have sat on Shaq's head with, for fun. That's just like um that year Aaron Gordon he literally almost sat on the mascot bro, and then when yep. come on they had they had to do something give him <laughs> something for that come on yeah but, yeah the three the best thing to me was the three point contest even though I didn't mm -hmm. really see everybody shoot I caught the end of that but I saw the the final round that that man Dane. I don't know why they try to count count Dame out. Yeah. Well, I don't say. Let me not say count Dame out. I don't think they thought he won't go win because his performance from this year. Because he ain't been. But that's probably something else. You probably got something <laughs> else. <Donald. laughs> yeah, and that is like it's interesting, like that you mentioned about the Aaron Gordon thing, because it's like ever since that contest with him and Zach. They set the bars so high. It's like ever since then, Sam Dunk contest is just like not it. It, yeah. it hasn't been because it's like I feel like they they doing like stuff that they don't want to get hurt doing. I feel like because they don't want they not gonna go and try to do like a dunk that uh. They seen somebody on the on the 
on the street, dude, which is cool. I would love to see that. But I feel like they're not trying to get hurt, which is makes sense. But there is some dunks you can do. It's just like, bro, you can yeah. do it in practice. You can do it. You can do it in the in the dunk contest. Like, but yeah, Jordan, Aaron Gordon contest. got robbed. Kobe. Yeah, Jordan was in a dunk contest. Julia Serving was in a dunk t- dunk contest. Like, bro, even though that was back in the day when they was just doing <laughs> when they were just doing Bird in a contest too. Was he? He probably was like in like the the, the beginning one because I don't think they. No, I don't know because I don't think they did the dunk contest for a long time. I think like Michael Jordan was like the second or third winner, something like that. I could be lying. They could have been doing it way back, but I feel like I thought they said like it started in like nineteen eighty something, like mid eighties. But yeah, they people just scared. That's all it is. They don't want to lose to somebody that they don't want to lose to a G League. Oh. <laughs> want to lose to somebody in the G League. That's all. Jalen, Jalen did it. Look how you getting paid. That's Bro, three hundred million, crazy. Three hundred, three hundred million to dunk to, to to do like five dunks in the dunk contest. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. And then yeah. I probably got more money for doing the dunk contest. Yeah. He got it. I mean, like. But um, back to mentioning the Aaron Gordon joint. He got robbed. Because Zach Levine, he did some crazy dunks. Dunking, dunking from the uh, free throw line. But he didn't sit on the mascot. But that's just. That's just... <laughs> did you like the um the shootout with. um? With Steph and Sabrina. Yeah, I thought that oh, was yeah. pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Cause it's like she uh she shot from NBA three, didn't she? Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's crazy. NBA three and hitting twenty six shots. Did she hit twenty six? Twenty something. I remember I was the commentator, uh what's it called? Kenny Smith was on the commentator just hating. She using the NBA, uh, WNBA ball. Okay. No. She shoot NBA <laughs> three, bro. <laughs> Somebody else said that they not doing that. They not. I can give it to you. Shoot. 26 with, come on, shooting with stuff. Mm-hmm. Anybody shooting with stuff is great. I mean, like, what you. What else can you say? Then they talking about they having Mike Goo, uh, Caitlin Clark when she come in next year, bro. Now that, now that made me crazy. You might have to uh, sit the line back for her. Start from the half court <laughs> line. Boy, she be she though. But, hey, it was a good thing though. I rock with it. Yeah, I was more invested in the. What was they doing like with the with Vidal and all them? Like the, the skills, um, what's this, the skills? Not the skills, skills, but like the Ricky sophomore thing. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really get like, a chance. The to girls were just going crazy. I didn't get a chance to see that, but I heard that they were going crazy. Yeah. Did they? Uh, did who won? I don't even know who won. I just watched the the game that Victor was playing. I caught oh. that one. And see, on that and that, they was talking about uh, how like when Viamba weren't doing too much, he had to he had the the, the drop back a little bit because bro, he really could have took over. I that's just my opinion. Like he really could have showed out, but he was like, nah, I already got the fame. Let somebody else handle it, but that, that's just what I see. Cause come on, bro, like you really think he really gonna let all them people, uh, what's a cook him like that? Cause they was cooking. He thinking he gonna let some G leaguers cook him, bro. Come on, he had to <laughs> he had to dial it back just to make it look for him. Yeah, look like seven six seven four. They, yeah, they say he's seven four, but he he looked taller than that. 
He got nine foot arms under that, like a tree. I, I don't I know remember, how they do that. I remember a play where um I forgot who was the point guard, but he set Victor for the alley, and Victor said, "Just how is that it. possible?" <laughs> It ain't it, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be possible. <laughs> he not even jumping. He just taking the ball and just putting in the hoop. Like that's that's a little tight hoop to him. Like that is a like how we gotta jump without. Some people gotta jump with the full Mike the dunker. They <laughs> ten foot. This man just. I wish I was that tall. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't wish I was that tall. That'd be crazy. Seven four. I can barely think when I be six foot. It's crazy. Is he uh, your lead um, person to get the rookie of the year? Well, of course. I mean, he's gonna um, get it regardless, but because I mean, he ain't showed no reason not to get it. I mean. Chet, Jet Ball, I ain't going to lie. If, if Chet didn't get hurt last year, he probably would have run rookie of the year over uh, Paolo. 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 Yeah. yeah. But then again, Paolo was balling. Like, and that's another thing. I know you probably got so, but I got to talk about Paolo right here, bro. I don't like him because he went to Duke. Yeah, but dog, that that boy dog, that man is a dog, and it's and it's crazy because it's like, I, why am I saying the person from Duke is a dog? I just can't stand it. <laughs> but that boy right there, I hate he on the magic because he need to get yeah. some TV time somewhere because people would love to see that man. Yeah. I was uh I was talking to my brother up here one time where I hate to finally admit it, but like it's like more Duke players translate more in the league than us Carolina. That we really think about it. Oh yeah. I've seen I, I've noticed that twenty yeah, I came to that realization in twenty fifteen, honestly, bro. Cause after Duke uh had got that, yeah. After Duke had won the ring, and then that next year they got Brendan Ingram, and he just went and every every year after that, bro. They just been having number one, just one and done every year, and they just been in, in this. I just don't know how they be doing it, bro. And then like, it's only a hand, handful of people that I say that's gonna ball in the league from Duke, and I knew it was gonna be Brendan Ingram. Jason Tatum. Who else? And I can't even name somebody after Jason Tatum because I didn't like Grayson Allen. I, I still don't believe he's good. He he's not. <laughs> I, I don't. Agree. I don't. Yeah, I, I I don't. I'm mad he balling too on the Suns. I can't I can't stand it, but you know I'm a hater at heart. Um, <laughs> Luke Kennard, I did I I I saw it, but I didn't see it because I knew he had a shot. He was a shooter, but I just didn't see him actually like you know balling in the league. But then again, if you can shoot, you can shoot. Um, but yeah, you it's 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 crazy how many people like do got that just ball in the league as of late, and then we got Kobe Cole. Kobe White, yeah. <laughs> Kobe Cole, and who who? Dang, who else from Carolina ball in the league, bro? Right now, yeah, I know, I know Harrison Barnes, but he's been in the yeah, league for Harrison 20 Barnes. years. 
No, De'Aaron Sharp. They run. They De'Aaron, whatever his name is, Sharp. He getting a little PT for the Nets. That's another one. I f- I forgot about him because yeah. he only stayed one year when he should have stayed longer. But so he on in Brooklyn, ain't he? Yeah, he on the Nets. He ain't getting burned for real. Oh, is he? Cam. Yeah, I forgot yeah, about Cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So we no, good. he in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we good, we good. Had to think about it. See, that's the thing you had to really think about. It. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> I, I wish, I wish everybody that came from Carolina hoop like Leaky. Everybody else league. overseas. Yeah, every the person that's been playing for a while that I even think we're gonna play for a while. That man, Kenny Meek, still balling, bro. I'll be seeing him on Instagram. He be hooping it. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, yo, good for him. I did not think he was going to still be balling. Yeah. But I, I don't know what it is. Like, you would think, like, you know, one of the greatest people, of college players of all time, Tyler Hansborough, would have had a lengthy career. Bro was scared to fly on the plane. But <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't know. That's just a, that's a, yeah, that's a he thing. He had a couple of years in Indiana, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, he was probably had he was a solid role player in them couple of years, but he yeah. didn't really do what he was supposed to do. Wasn't he with them uh, with Paul George and all that? Or that was like before that, if I'm not mistaken. He was, cause now that, like saying that that just brought like a memory of me playing two K, <laughs> and I think I remember seeing like Hansborough coming off the bench for Roy Hibbert. <laughs> <laughs> coming off the bench for Roy Hibbert, so I want to say yes, he was. Was he? Yeah, I think he was. I always don't think he got any PT for real, especially not in the final in the uh, conference final because he won't go. He won't go in against no LeBron. I wouldn't put him in no game with LeBron. But that's besides the point. That's like twenty years ago. Yeah. Who do you um? Who do you see getting the championship this year, NBA? Um. Let's see. I really, I couldn't tell you, honestly, because it's like the West is just like so up for grabs and the East got three teams. <laughs> like, I wouldn't, let me say who I wouldn't be mad at that got in the ring. I wouldn't be mad at the Mavs. I wouldn't be mad if uh, the Nuggets went back to back. Um... I won't be mad at the Suns because I want KD to get another, just one more. I just want KD to get at least one more. Um, who else? I don't want the Lakers. They're, they're no. out of here. No. They're, no. <laughs> La- if it was last year, I would, I would say the Kings, but the Kings this year. They look like mm-mm. I don't. I don't mm-mm. My mind is like I'm trying to think about who's like in the top of the West right now. I know it's the Nuggets, the Mavs, the Warriors are sleepers, but then again, they're not sleepers because they still got Draymond on on the team, bro. Yeah. Mine is drawing blanks. How you feeling about Milwaukee? That's that's the team I I want them to win. That's the team, yeah. I would want the Bucks to win. Cause I want Dame. I want people to stop talking about Dame. <laughs> I want them just to go ahead and get a ring and just be fine. Cause they just gonna keep saying 
they may got a ring. They may got a, like he won't go win them Portland. Mm-hmm. Like he won't. They won't gonna build around him. Whose best player was gonna be CJ McCollum? Come on, bro. <laughs> he had prime Lamarcus. That was that should have been the years that they should have been doing something. I still never forget waking up or not waking up, uh, staying up stupid late to watch that uh the Rockets and Trailblazers uh playoffs. It was like twenty. I forgot what year it was when when Dame, when Dame sent him home. Game winner. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I remember staying up so late watching that game, and I seen it, and I was like. That man, Dane Cole. <laughs> that man, Dane Cole. But nah, ever. I've always wanted. I mean, I've always supported Dane. Dane been my like my favorite point guard in the league for a long time. Boy, yeah, for a long time. So I want to see him get that, hold that ring up, hold that champion trophy up. Who's your uh, top five players right now? Top five players. I'm going to say Luka, Jokic, Giannis, and that's been Hooper for real. I'm going to put KD at five. Four? That's a toss-up. Because I, I don't... Hmm. It, it is a toss-up. I see a Luka, Jokic, Giannis, and KD at five. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm cycling through all the all the top people right now, bro. I'm trying to see. Steph? See, Steph, he top ten, and yeah. it's on, and he only top. He, I mean, he's top ten because he does stuff, but he wouldn't. He's not in my top five because, like, this year right now. He is shooting lights out like crazy. But he do be just shooting them. Just to <laughs> shoot them sometimes, bro. I like, I saw I seen some games, bro, with like one for like going crazy, like one for something, like only hit one shot. Like, come on. You gotta you gotta cook to be like, you know. If you can't shoot your threes, you gotta cook, be Steph Chef Curry, you know what I mean? But yeah. Or the toss up, honestly, bro. I just know KD's that, that's my top five. KD, my my fifth player. Four, I would. AD has been balling, but he's okay. on the Lakers. <laughs> so if I, I, because he has been buying, I really can't lie. He has been balling. So I would, just to say, just because he on the Lakers, bro, I I do. Yeah, so I do. I do Luka, Jokic, Giannis. KD and then uh, AD, which is okay. which is crazy. <laughs> All balling, bro. Okay. Mm-hmm. My five is definitely <clears throat> Giannis, Giannis, Luca, Jokic. Basically, your list. Just flip it. Um, four. And the only reason why he's this low is because he hasn't really done anything for real since going to state. KD. Playoff yeah. loss. You're right. And it's and it's really not even because of him. Like it's because of his teammates. Like you from since since he's left the Warriors, yeah, he was hurt that them like one and a half, two years. But after that, it has been strictly his teammates. He's been there, and if he's if like when he's been healthy, he's been there. Yeah. But his everybody else, he had Kyrie, 
and Harden. Harden cried. Cried to get there just to only play nine games together. <laughs> Kyrie. Kyrie didn't want to get the vaccine, so he missed 40 games. And KD just sitting over just as... What he supposed to do? Got yeah. traded. Now he had the Suns. Then now Bill they got the big three. Devin Booker, Bradley Bill. They Bradley first Bradley Bill didn't play like the first 10 something, 20 something games, I feel like. As soon as he came back, Devin Booker went hurt, got hurt. Like, I don't know. I don't know what, what they could what they can do for KD. But you said four. Curse. What's your fifth one? You say five? Yeah. Kyrie. Kyrie five. Oh yeah, 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 Kyrie been going crazy. Yeah, Kyrie, and I saw um, what's it called? Shannon Shannon Sharp said, "Uh, Luca and Kyrie don't play with they they backs to the basket. They can't post up." What? What? Yeah. <laughs> he had he, he had Kendrick <laughs> Perkins ah. <laughs> he said, "Stephen A. <laughs> Pill this man. Like, have you like? Have you never? How you never seen Luca and Kyrie post somebody? Like, he they will fade, hit a fadeaway on you in a split second, and that I was like, no, nah, bro, you you wild on that one. You wild on." <laughs> so who's your who's your favorite team? Chicago. Chicago Bulls, bro. <laughs> How long you been a Bulls fan? <clears throat> oh, it's been a long time, but from what I can remember, I want to say I actually started following like the Bulls. The 2011, I want to say. Because I think that was the year Derrick Rose won his uh, MVP. Yeah. 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 I think after when he won his MVP, I, I think I started following him after that. I mean, it's just been a okay. fan ever since. That's kind of like the same for me because, like, I, I didn't grow up watching sports, really. I was just a TV kid, like cartoon and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the game that my dad kind of forced me to watch really was a uh, game seven NBA finals, 2010 Lakers Celtics. And that's the game that got me into basketball. And I didn't really know who to go for. So I was like, I'm going to just go with the champs the Lakers. <laughs> so I was with them for that year. And then the following was, um, that's when Brian went to Miami. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I guess I'm going to Miami because yeah, I was a bandwagon fan, just, really. Exactly what I did. So, but secondary was I, I, I always liked Chicago for some reason, but I just never put them first. It was always that bandwagon team number one. Mm -hmm. And just the way Derrick Rose played and and Boozer and Noah and that whole squad. Uh, by that end of the year, when Miami was in the finals against Dallas, I was hoping for Dallas to win. Because I just didn't like the arrogance of them. You know, Miami is like, oh, the big three. Like, oh, who's this guy? Mm -hmm. Like, Derek like, Dar Dar Lewinsky. Like, eh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I was hoping and praying for Dallas to win. They won. And after that season, Chicago's been number one ever since. Yeah. That was like, what, 2012? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's just exactly how it went for me because I know growing up, like, I don't remember watching sports at all growing up. I ain't going to lie. The the one game, two games I remember from football and basketball, I remember Um, my the first game I remember was the 07 finals. I remember the Spurs – Getting Spurs sweeping them and LeBron dapping up Tim Duncan. And I don't know why I remember that. I just remember that. <laughs> that's one of the key 
key moments I remember. And then the for football, I remember watching the Super Bowl of the uh New dude, that's a New Orleans, New England. The un, they was undefeated, bro, all the way to the Super Bowl. And then lost to the Giants. That's two games that first two games I remember watching of sports. But like I don't even remember watching Chicago games, bro. I was just I used to be on uh like just w- watching like YouTube sometimes. I just see like highlights and whatnot. Just watch Derrick Rose go crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just gradually I formed into a Chicago fan. I, mean, I don't I don't know how. <laughs> but it happened. <laughs> it happened. And I ain't I ain't really mad. I ain't really mad at being a Chicago fan. It sucks. I yeah, wish you could tough. win. It's I wish been you could tough. win. But mm-hmm. I ain't really too mad. I ain't the I ain't it feels like I'm a bandwagon, but I'm not a bandwagon. Cause like a bandwagon not gonna sit through tough times with a team. I mean uh, a fool, like yeah, yeah no. Of a, a, a real fan not yeah, 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 yeah. Bay Wagon not gonna set the tough times. <laughs> they not. That's for sure. Band wagon. Do you remember those early times with just like prime D Rose, whether it was a regular season playoffs? Mm-hmm. I remember the the uh, watching one of the games when it was the Heat versus Chicago. That was always a good game. And and I remember yeah. watching that one play when uh Derrick Rose took both took on both LeBron and D Wade and fit and did a crazy finish, bro. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> but he had to tear his ACL, bro. Yeah, I remember that... Huh? Oh no, keep going, bro. Now I remember um, back at my old house and watching, I don't know if it was game one, game two, or game three. You remember that first round series against Philly? He heard him and he got injured. My heart was broke. I was like, this is our year, bro. It I just was. knew it. it so was. Once, he, once he got done, I was like, oh, yeah, it's over. We're done. Because it, it just happened. It happened so fast, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I just rem- I remember. I rem- I think I remember watching that one too. And he just he just went up and just didn't come back up, bro. <laughs> and we still won the series too. Yeah, yeah. Did we? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we I just think lost we in the still second. Won the series, bro. We lost in the second round. I said I said it then. I'm gonna continue to say it now. Like at that time, we were like the biggest threat to Miami back then. Yeah, we like, had the we had the number. I know we had the number one. We had the number one defense in the league. Yeah, bro, you on? You had Derrick Rose running the point. Who was I? Two? What was it? Was Corver the two at the time? Corver, yep. Corver with Dane. Mm-hmm. Who's it? Boozer, and Noah. Noah. And who was coming off the bench? Was it Heinrich on the bench? Yeah, CJ Watson. Um, you remember Keith Bogans and all them? <laughs> hey, bro, what was buddy name? Oh, I think he was on the team later. Was it? Was it Lou? Lou. It was somebody like it was a sorry dude. I forgot his name, bro. It was. It was you remember um, Omar Oshik? Bear, yeah, Bear style. <laughs> yeah. Bear style, Felicia. <laughs> oh, we went to some tough times, bro. I'll trade, I, I, I trade it all back just to not get Zach Levine again. I'll yeah. bring those teams back to not have Zach Levine on my team. Who do we even trade to get Zach? I forgot. Bro, we traded Jimmy Butler. In that first oh, round, yeah, yeah, we yeah. Cherry, Jimmy Butler and a, a pick swap for Chris Dunn 
And somebody and and Zach, yeah, yeah, Zach Levine. Chris Dunn, bro, and Zach Levine. And a first round pick for Jimmy Butler. Ain't ain't barely sniffed the playoffs since, bro. I think since then that was twenty. That was twenty. What are like seventeen? Sixteen? Nah, it was like sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, because Zach Levine. It don't even feel like Zach Levine been on the team for that long, but it's really been like six, seven years. And I was a, I was rooting for Zach, bro. I just knew he was just thought they were gonna build around him. I mean, he was athletic, and I ain't, and he's still not a bad player. He just don't fit us no more, bro. Mm-hmm. He need to go somewhere else to just ball out and and have fun. It, 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 we play so much better without him, like ten <laughs> times better. What do you think we should be we should do off season? Trey Zach Levine. <laughs> <laughs> like that is the first. I don't even know. I I couldn't even tell you for who. I just want a solid four. A three or a four. And we, and we still got De, uh, DeRozan. I keep DeRozan. That Kobe. Kobe is, I mean, DeRozan is the the veteran Kobe needs, cause he ain't no high flying. He ain't do. He ain't gonna do all of that. He he gonna shoot. He a shooter. I say yeah. He a shooter first, and then he gonna take it to the paint second. I, that's what I. That's what I say. And that's what um he can. DeRozan can just him and just. I don't know. I just want DeRozan to stay on the team, bro. I want him to retire, bro. I just he makes his he makes the team. I don't know. Feel complete because mm-hmm. if it's like it, I know I can count on a DeRozan mid range before anything on the team. I I'd rather have a bona fide two. I mean, like I said, bona fide. Like a uh, I'd rather know I'm getting the two. Then begging for a three, if you know what I mean. Yeah. How you, but, how you feeling about um? What's that dude's name? What's our center's name? Nikola Vucevic. You need to go too. He he plays better when he's not the five. He he defense. All right, his defense is terrible, but he's he's a good offensive piece. Like he'll give you a smooth, he can give you a twenty twenty and ten any day, but just know with that twenty and ten, he's gonna miss five threes. He's gonna <laughs> keep just. That's the only thing about him, bro. Like his shot don't look like it's gonna go in anytime he shoots for me when I see it. And it's, I don't understand, but I, 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 I'd, I'd like to keep him if he wasn't a five. If he played the four, because we played it was four. Vucevic and uh and Drummond at the four and five. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wouldn't be mad if he if they traded him. Cause yeah. he can go, but uh Zach Levine's first priority off the team. I don't want to see him in a red jersey that has Chicago on <laughs> the front of it. <laughs> what is your? Because like we spoke about D Rose, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you want to say this. But what is your biggest what if in sports? Like, oh, what if this guy didn't get injured? What if this team didn't trade this player and let him develop? Where would they be at right now? What's that? What we still we still we still talking about NBA? Any sport, really? Oh, it's... <laughs> I got two of them. <laughs> if 
if uh Buddy on New Orleans tackled the dude from the Vikings, we would have been in the Super Bowl. If you would if he would have tackled and they didn't have the Minneapolis miracle, bro, we would have we would have stomped the Eagles and would beat the Patriots. That's me. The next year, <laughs> if they would have called the no call and he was in the Super Bowl, we would have won a Super Bowl easily. <laughs> easily we would have beat the Patriots and not scored three points like the Rams did. But that's my that's that's two of the biggest what ifs. There's a whole bunch more like, yeah, most definitely Derrick Rose. Uh who and it's like I wanna you, you can say injuries, like what if injuries, but some people like Greg Odin. It was a he was a what if like if he didn't get injured, but he had he had you had opportunities so after that the the you know to perform but you just couldn't perform mm-hmm. so he just I don't know but let me see if I can find him some more what ifs if KD didn't didn't get hurt against the Raptors. They would have definitely had three mm-hmm. straight. Mm-hmm. Um, that's crazy to say because Clay definitely got hurt. But if they if they would have had KD, they would have won. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I was trying to think of some recent ones. Um, <clears throat> if KD didn't step on the line against the Bucks, I was literally about to just say that. <laughs> if, he, if he didn't step on the line against the Bucks, bro, the Bucks wouldn't have had that ring. Um, if it weren't for the if it weren't for COVID, the Lakers wouldn't have a ring. Because if they would have played regular, they would have got they 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 would have got beat by somebody. I don't know. I couldn't th- tell you the teams who they would have beat who would have beat them, but they would have got beat. Yeah. Oh, um, there's some other ones I I have to think on. Definitely D Rose. That's like number mm-hmm. one for me. Um. What if they never traded? What if the what if Katie Harden and Russ stayed together? I see. I just seen like something that a, a post on that, and then we were showing straight like highlights of all three of them. And I saw. I was like, if they never broke up, I don't. I don't think Harden would be Harden. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't think because they would have definitely locked him up, kept him on the bench, or like probably started him, but he won't gonna be no thirty five point player if he stayed at the like at the at the Thunder. But yeah. both, but Russ and Russ and KD would have been the same. Like they was already hooping with him on the bench, which is crazy to say. Harden on the bench, bro, won six man a year. <laughs> All right, cool. But yeah. Um they probably they probably I wish they would have would have beat the, the Heat that year. But the the script had to say, yeah, LeBron gotta get his first ring <laughs> against <laughs> against his then uh <laughs> ri- was it, was KD his rival? Did you say KD was his rival? Yeah, yeah. I wish, I wish he did. That would that would have like if he would have if Kate not Katie if LeBron would have lost to the Mavs and the Thunder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would oh, that be funny. LeBron fans would not know what to do. What if with LeBron stayed in Cleveland? Do you want to have a race? Any? None? 
I don't. I, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say he. Mm-mm. He, he might. Now let me tell you. But he two. might have won. Because if he would like, because the way the NBA is now, if the NBA, like, say if, uh, he stayed at the Cavs, and the NBA like changed how it's changing now, he probably would have. But if it like, you know, if it in a different scenario, I don't think he would have won a ring at the. The Cavs, because they definitely won the got Kyrie, because and yeah. plus he's not losing enough to get like a solid player. Like he's gonna be get he even he was winning what 50, 50. 60 games a mm-hmm. season. You you some one of them years you got to tank the not tank but like you you can't try to win every year. You got to yep. get a solid player. Cause it ain't nobody gonna wanna no they they won't get I say they won't get a free agent. What free agent are they gonna get <laughs> at that time? <laughs> well, four and tw- was it 2011, 2010, 2011? Yeah. I couldn't see a big star playing with LeBron at the Cavs before he left the Heat. Yeah. I couldn't. I, I couldn't see nobody. It was just gonna be a one man show until he until he actually left. Yeah, he had to leave, so he won't get in the ring. I remember watching an interview of his. He was like, he would still be the same player that he is now if he didn't go to Miami. I was like, bro, what? No, you you would not. You, you won your first two rings out there. You 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 said he would be or wouldn't be. He would still be the player that he is now if he did not go to Miami. No. <laughs> Yo, his, his, if he didn't go to Miami, he would not have them two rings. Yep. And he probably would have had he probably would have had more MVPs. I'd say he probably won more MVPs. But then again, he already won two at the Heat. So it's just like you... LeBron, LeBron, great. Like that's crazy. You you chose your path, bro. You can't like just you can't say <laughs> stuff like that. You would not be the same player, bro. Because you would have to do way more. You had to. He would have to do way more on the on the Cavs. <laughs> like work, <laughs> like exactly. They seen it because it's what he exactly what he did at the Cavs' his second stint would have been what he would have been doing if he would have stayed at the Cavs. He would have mm-hmm. to do everything, which he was already doing everything, but he would just have to literally do everything. <laughs> like it's it's crazy. At like, twenty eighteen, LeBron, bro, if twenty if that. If he was in that form and stayed on the cap, yeah, that'd have been crazy. He went that I don't think they would have still won. But that would have still been crazy. But he he is he was a different player, bro. He would have been a different player. He what is that? Uh, <laughs> what is LeBron rank for you all the time? Two. Two. A two. Okay. Who's in your five? You remember my you remember my first top five? My from uh back in high school. Mm-mm. Patrick Ewan. <laughs> oh man, but nah. I, my 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 whole mindset will change after that, bro. So he he he, he ain't in that no more. But uh, I say Mike, LeBron, Kareem, uh, Kobe. 
will be and mm, magic yeah <laughs> Ma magic I'm trying to think because it's not I, I will's not in my top five so he's like he might be he might be in the brush of the 10 okay but yeah Bill yeah he would he would be he played in the 60s so he still be he would be I say he my top 10 too yeah I say magic Yeah. Curry in my top ten too. It's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If he <sighs> Yeah. He he's 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 solidified in the top ten, bro. I don't know who he, uh, I forgot who he kicked out. Yeah, I forgot who he kicked out, but he kicked somebody out the top ten. But yeah, that's my top that's my top five. For me, Mike, Kobe, Braun, Magic. Not five is tough. Yeah, five is crazy. Um, I mean, you got, you got Tim. But Tim is in my top ten. I forgot about Tim. I'm. I, I, I might have to slide slide magic out, bro. <laughs> I forgot. I did yeah, forgot bro. about Tim. It's it's it's. I, I, yeah. I, 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 wow. Yeah, Tim, my top five, bro. Yeah, for sure. How you feel about Shaq? Where is that top ten? Oh yeah. And then I was I was looking, bro. It's the, the top ten can be shuffled so much. Cause, <clears throat> hey D, I was just sitting and just AD. watching the game. KD, not AD. Kevin KD, yeah, 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 yeah. In top ten, In not 10? top five. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, he, he, listen, just wait, just wait. I was looking, bro. This man, he already top eight all time. And scoring, yeah, bro, eight, and it's crazy because how top eight? And I know he scored. He, he scored like he's a score. He's known for scoring, <laughs> but top eight, bro, yeah, and he's still playing like top eight, and it's like. <sighs> It's just it's just crazy, but right? because it's like I see him score a lot, but he missed, he's missed like three years, bro, like total. Like if he's a Thunder, he broke he broke his foot, he missed like like almost a whole season, and then he tore yeah. his uh was Achilles or something, the Achilles, yeah. and when he went to the, yeah. he missed like two two total three two years, bro. And number eight, <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> that is insane. That is insane. Yeah, it was just, and then I saw like, I I knew Shaq was up there, bro. But Shaq was, Shaq got thirty thousand. What? Yeah. I, it's crazy, and it's like, just like LeBron being number one, like it, that. That's insane too. Being number one is insane. <laughs> It's just baffling, bro. Yeah. That's what made like, me finally put him up there, really, to be honest with you. But that, that took him number, right? number one in scoring. scoring. Yeah. It's, it's insane because it's like you really didn't think somebody was going to score more than 38,000 points, bro. Again. He's still going. It's still going. <laughs> that's what that's what's really making me mad too, bro. He's doing it at a like this is this is like eighty percent LeBron. I ain't gonna lie. You can tell he's he's going down in like because his, his age and stuff. But 
this is like a like an eighty percent LeBron, bro. Cause he he not he not, he can still fly, but he not gonna he not gonna fly like that. But he, it, it's I can get to a whole thing, but and I ain't even a LeBron fan. I, I'm the biggest LeBron <laughs> hater known to man, but I I say LeBron. I but nah, it's just crazy. But you just got you just gotta respect greatness. That's what I've been doing. Man, like, yeah. you know, respecting the greatness for sure. Where were you? Um, where were you at when you heard about Kobe? I heard about Kobe. Crazy. I was, I was coming back from church, and I was at Goldsboro, bro. I was by Hobby Lobby, and I looked in my phone. Not Hobby Lobby. I was by Harbor Freight, and I, cause I was going to pick up some some Popeyes chicken for the church. I was going to pick up some Popeye's chicken. I looked at my phone, and I saw Kobe die in a helicopter crash. I said, I I stopped my car. I said, huh? And then the first thing I think I did, I think I texted the two Kobe fans I knew in my life. I said, y'all here? It's not funny, but it's just like, I when I when I messaged, and I was like, dang, like, Kobe, bro, like, in a helicopter crash, like, what? Helicopter? What you doing in the helicopter, Kobe? You couldn't drive? Like, you just <laughs> want to get there that fast? Like, you had to get there that fast, bro. You had to drive a helicopter, bro. It's just like crazy. R.P. Kobe. But yeah, that's I, I one of the few things I knew exactly what I remember. Mm hmm. I was um, I was at school. It was my yeah spring semester, and I was in my room. My roommate was um out somewhere with his girlfriend, whatever. So I was enjoying that quiet time. Um, and I was on my phone because like uh, you remember the night before, Bron surpassed him. In yeah, yeah. And I was on Instagram because he posted something about it on Instagram, and something just told me to just go on his page. Because when I saw that picture, it was on my feed. So someone just told me to go on this page. And at that time, you remember, you can tag verify people and stuff like that mm -hmm. and whatever. So I went to his tag post. The very first thing I saw was him, you know, R.I.P. Kobe or something like that by some random yeah. person. I got like, trolling, bro. Out of here, man. Yeah, out of here. You know, because weird people do that around the world. Like, oh, mm -hmm. R.I.P. this person. So I didn't take it seriously. So I refreshed my feed. First thing I see, R.I.P. Kobe, where I, I verified page. Ain't no way, bro. Get out of here. So I, I just kept going. It was more, 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 more. That's when it really finally set in. Mm -hmm. This dude really gone. And at that time, my roommate comes in. He didn't know nothing about it at the time. So I stormed into my bathroom. I just cried, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I feel you, bro. Cause I, cause I ain't, I wasn't even really a, a big Kobe fan. Like, I was always a Kobe hater. Came in front. I, I, anything, anything, anything had to do with the Lakers. I did not. Uh, I wasn't a fan at all. But when I saw Kobe, I was like, "Dang, bro!" Like, no way. He had like four years after he retired. And they was yep. then what was they about to I feel like they was doing something that year too. I feel like they were about to do something for him that year or something. I don't know. But that was just the most unexpected thing. And what made it worse is his daughter was with him. Yeah, like in a helicopter, bro. <laughs> like yeah, not even a car crash. Like I could see a, a car crash. Like not even say I don't want to see that. Not saying that, but like out of all things, a helicopter crash, and you don't even hear about helicopters crashing like that for real. That's just crazy, bro. But I think 
his death did change the NBA a little bit. Because people want to be like Kobe for real now. So they just sparking yeah. up shooters. <laughs> but yeah, that's that don't look crazy. Yeah. Hey, did you watch the Super Bowl? I loved it. It was, it was a it was a to me it was a great football game. Not nothing too flashy, nothing too major, bro. It was just a good football game. I wish it was better. Uh, I wish it was better QB play on the 49ers in, but it was good. It was a solid. It was a solid football game. Bro. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. What do you, how do you feel about Pat Mahomes? He's a good right now. Three straight of, of this generation, bro. All right. Of these, of, yeah, 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 like this new age, bro. He definitely the, the best quarterback right now. He got to because it, it's gonna be hard to win seven rings, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. So like, when people somebody, in. yeah, he he halfway there, but to win he seven, only bro, I know. That's what. That's another thing, bro. Like, <laughs> like him. Yeah, because what was it? Because then Giannis won his his. We Giannis won his first ring at twenty at twenty eight, bro. And it's like, not did he win his first ring at twenty eight? I think it was younger than that. But anyway, I was just saw it. Like I remember seeing graphics of like age twenty eight, and it was like stuff like that. Like he. They just like it's just like similar of like football and basketball instead of the rings, bro. Because it's like they both two time MVPs, bro. And it's like they both can be the greatest if they like if they play their cards right. Not Pat, Mahomes got an easier way of doing it, but Giannis got a, a whole like got to earn it. You know what I mean? Cause I mean, if if Giannis won like two more ring, two two or three more rings, well, I ain't gonna lie, he he def he he'll, he'll definitely be top ten. And I, I don't even know why I'm comparing the two, but it's just like I see this comparison of it. It's just like how basketball and football is just like two totally different like aspects of how you can get to the greatest. Because it's two yeah. different sports, and it's just like, yeah, he won three rings, and he got, like, two MVPs. But he can play, like, for 15 more years. When Giannis really – basketball ain't got – I don't know why I'm comparing the two, bro. I, but it's just – I can just see it. I, in my head, I see it, but I ain't explaining how I want to explain it. Okay. What can the – what can New Orleans do in the offseason to get back to the – Super Bowl, or contend at least. Well, we already on the right track. We got a new. I we what we been needed was a new offensive coordinator, bro, and we finally got it. Cause we got the uh, they call him the passing game quarter, not quarterback, passing game coach. So I guess the quarter quarterback coach from the Forty ers mm. which I mean. I'm glad because of somebody from the, you know, uh, the 49ers team because you know, their offense is solid. They, yeah, they know how to they know how to run it over there. Other than us last year, I, me saying I didn't want to watch the Saints game, I felt so bad saying, bro, and I still watched it. I just could not stand watching it because it just don't it just didn't feel right. <laughs> Cause Derek Carr, I, I had I had faith in Derek Carr. If you ask any anybody I was talking to, they would be like, Oh, you was you was on that that putting him on a high horse. I was not putting him on a high horse. He's just a solid quarterback that I saw from the Raiders. Cause the Raiders was terrible. But offensively, I mean 
he 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 helped out uh what's his name? Uh Devontae Adams get like a thousand mm-hmm. something yards a year before. So I'm just like, he gonna come in, him and Mike Olave, they're gonna be like like that. After game I, 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 I could I could see where our offense gonna go wrong after game one, bro. When we won a one point game. Who we play? I think it was the Titans the first game. One point game against the <laughs> if this the Titans, bro. I said our offenses went two and zero. I thought, okay, we were just gonna have to grind it out for defense. Uh, I don't even want to talk about the rest of the season. They just they were that was just terrible, terrible yeah. offense. Like I ain't never think I was gonna say New Orleans got terrible. When the last time you heard New Orleans having bad offense? It's been a while. Forever, it's always been our defense. Our defense has always been terrible. And now, defense, solid offense in the in the toilet, bro. Like how that work? But <laughs> well, yeah, if we if our offensive scheme gets back to how it needs to be ran, I feel like we could be solid. Cause that's to me, that's really all I saw that we were missing is like actual offensive scheme. Cause we didn't use and barely used anything, bro. Like. We, our offense, they say our offense was predictable. All right, come on. How can you be predictable in the NFL? Predictable in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. That's what I see. Yeah. And then, if we had, like, get our O-line better, too. So our O-line and coaching. And we'd be solid. I, I see we can win, I say, 10 games next season. But that's that might be pushing. <laughs> it's like it's the opposite for us. It's where our defense is straight, offense is garbage. Nah, I see Panthers, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel I feel so bad for Bryce. Yeah, like I I I feel bad for him because he don't he he did not. Ass could be put in that position to get dogged like that, bro. Cause it, yeah, I don't think at watching watching y'all play this season, bro. I don't think I ever watched the NFL team. <laughs> like I that in this and it's crazy to say, cause y'all won two games. Y'all didn't even go. Y'all didn't even go defeated. You know what I mean? <laughs> two games and it's like and we won those two games by field goals end of the end of the game field goal and it's and that's really the only reason like y'all offense was just so bad like as soon as I seen the ball hike he running for his life like that's yeah. exactly that right there was just like how RG three got out of the league because the the, the risk is just did not like him. They just the O line. They oh, did the not go for that man. Com- commanders. Bro. Oh my fault. Yeah, the commanders. It's commanders. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, but they was they the was commanders. that back. In the day. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's exactly how. That's exactly how they they treated RG three. And that's exactly what Bryce was doing, but just as soon as the ball I just run it. Like like literally. Yeah. Like, Terrible. Like, it's, it's just crazy. But then yeah. didn't y'all get a new GM, right? New GM and coach. See that coach the dude was from crazy. Um, offensive coordinator, I think. For the Bucks. We got him. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why. <laughs> he did good you know with the I mean? Bulls. Like, they went to the huh? playoffs. Yeah, but the the only reason they went to the playoffs because our division was terrible. The only reason. Yeah. Because we could have made the playoffs. Y'all two was neck and neck though, right? Yeah, we could have made the playoffs. Who was it that had to lose? I think we needed the... 
we need the Rams to lose or something like that for us to get in. No, all we really needed was to beat the Packers. And we would have been in the playoffs. Week three. But that was the game when we were up 17-0 to and lost. Because <laughs> Derek Carr wanted to get hurt. Yeah. Joel Love went crazy, didn't he? Yeah. Even, I mean, and I wasn't even too mad because he was, he's solid. I I had to give it to him. He, he's a solid, solid quarterback. He played, he had, he, he had to learn up uh from Aaron Rodgers for like what four or five years. Yeah, I wouldn't be too mad. <laughs> but yeah, he it was just a whole. <clears throat> I'm gonna put me back into the mood now, but <laughs> since I really your, uh... wanted us to do good this season. Yeah. But uh, who's in your top five right now? Quarterbacks right now. Quarterbacks. Patrick you say, Mahomes. Pat, yeah, Pat Mahomes. Um, Mahomes, Lamar. Um, a healthy Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. Um. Josh Allen on a good day. Cause he Josh Allen can really ball, bro. I just don't know what it what it'd be wrong with him. And um Robert. Who you who you say? <laughs> I was just about you if you say Jay Herb, I definitely was just about I was just about to say Jay Herb. I said Brock Birdie. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't get me started on Brock, bro. I, I ain't gonna the, before the, when the Super Bowl happened, bro. The biggest Brock Purdy hater. <laughs> the biggest one. Like uh, every time somebody mentioned Brock, I say he sucked. <laughs> but. Definitely not Brock or no. Okay. Um, that? Who the, hey, I said five. I said, I said Patrick Mahomes, Lamar, a healthy Joe Burrow, Burrow, Josh Allen. Josh Allen and Herb, J. Herb. Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert. Oh, Justin Herbert. Okay. 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 I got you. Um, Pat Mahomes for sure. Well, I just like Lamar more. So I'm gonna have Lamar one, then Pat three, Jalen Hurts four, <laughs> four Joe Burrow five. I gotta be honest, man. That that goes in there. This is individual and play, I, not who he play for. I know, I know, I know. I, I, and I, I agree to an extent because it's like he's solid. Dak is solid, but I, I ain't gonna hold you. Zach, Dak is solid, but it's just. I just don't want him to game in the fourth quarter. Let him play first <laughs> the three quarters, and when the fourth quarter comes, I just don't want to see him in the game. Like put put the back up <laughs> in or something. Run the ball the whole quarter. Yeah, cause I just I don't I don't know. He just I'm just not he just not sold on me, bro. Like he was on he was only halfway solid a little bit because. Zeke went crazy the first like five years, bro. Cause if it weren't for Zeke, if it weren't for Zeke, bro, they they'd be relying on him to throw the ball twenty million times, and that won't go happen. What are you about to say? Still to this day, I don't understand why they chose Dak over him. Thank you. 
Right. That's exactly what I said. But it's just something about running backs in this day and age. I don't know what it is. I just want to know. I I want to sit down with somebody like a like a coach or something like a scout to tell me why these running backs is not getting love like they like they should. Like you telling me, um, Zeke taking a a one year deal in the Patriots, bro, for a minimum. Min- Come on, dog. Davin, <laughs> you telling me Davin Cook can't couldn't do can't give you. Twelve thousand yards. I mean, twelve hundred yards, like he did the year before. This, yep. I don't, I don't understand. And yep. then gonna keep, and then gonna keep Tony Pollard over Zeke. It's crazy. They was already <laughs> on down here when they got rid of Amari Cooper. Yeah. If they they should have kept Amari. Got rid of, they. Yeah, he went to Vegas. They didn't got rid of Michael Gallup. And then did something with Zeke. Say what? Then Mario went to Vegas or something? No, he went to the Browns. And balling at the Browns. Who goes to Cleveland? Uh, apparently, the Mario. <laughs> Mario <Cooper laughs> <Deshaun Watson, laughs> bro. Well, he got traded out there, so. Then no, uh, Mario got. Uh, Deshaun got traded. Amari. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Deshaun got traded out there. Yeah, Amari uh, was a free agent, which is I don't know why he went out there. Like why? Bad did he go? Out of all teams, I would I would have been I would have been heated if he would have went to the Falcons, but that would have been a better position than some Cleveland. <laughs> like the Falcons was that close to getting him too, and he gonna choose Cleveland. <laughs> yep. This is it's crazy. Do you think? Be honest. Do you think Cam will ever get a job again? No, bro. He done. Yeah, he could. Like it. It's. I, I don't. I. And I, this is another thing, bro. I know age is a thing. I know injury is a thing. But it's like there is no way you can like t- get that bad at playing a sport, bro. Like <laughs> you telling me, Cam Newton went from giving you about I say he'll give you about thirty eight. 3,800 yards passing and 800 yards rushing a year and then can't give you nothing now, bro? Like, how? Like, is it is it, is it CTE, bro? Like, like <laughs> is, it, is it something? Because I just don't understand. But that's just like an opposite, like, I don't, I don't know why I'm throwing them out here. This is like a whole different ball game, bro. But Antonio Brown, bro. Antonio Brown right now can hop in. I feel like can hop on any team right now and give you give you at least a smooth a thousand fifty catch. Yeah, fifty catches easy, bro. Yep. But then Cam Newton MVP can't go out there and give you a a, a twenty yard pass. <laughs> I don't understand it. Yeah. I just don't. But it's just I feel like that injury really really did something to him. Like mentally and physically, because I know I feel like he he knew he won't go be solid again, but he tried. I, I, I ain't gonna fall for it. He tried. And he he did it. He got like what two extra years in the NFL from the Patriots and the and the pa- Panthers. Yeah, he played one season in New England. He released them. Then he got that little run with us later in the year that next season. That was it. And it's like, <clears throat> you telling me he couldn't have started the rest of the season with y'all? Like, he was like, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, he he, he couldn't have been that bad. I know he was bad. But it's just like, how can you, how did you form to be that bad where you can't start on a team that needs a quarterback? 
And you coming out and saying you better than half these quarterbacks in the league, bro. And I'm a, I'm a Cam fan, but you know it ain't true. But, I mean, I wouldn't mind him. He could be like a... No, I don't know about a locker room presence because he just got jumped. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind him like being on a team, being around, like helping helping out. I feel like he would be more of a. You think yeah, he could I be a backup? As a coach. Backup. I see. I for a quarterback that of his caliber, like somebody that would be like a next Cam Newton. That's the only person that he could like potentially be a. Or are you talking about backup, like, like to be like a just a normal backup, or like a backup to like help somebody? Is that what that's what you were talking about? A, like a backup know. quarterback where like he can be like for me, I wouldn't mind him being a backup quarterback to a guy like CJ, like that veteran presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I could like somebody like that just don't take passing game from him, bro. But you can take the running part. It's not the passing, but yeah, I can see him being like with CJ or mm-hmm. uh really Anthony Richardson. I forgot about him. He really could help out Anthony yeah. Richardson just a little bit. Yep. Because Anthony Richardson already running head first. That's why he been out for the, the season. Yeah. Or he could be the starter in Atlanta. Who? Cam. Cam. Who Atlanta got? That, uh, <laughs> Nobody. That's the funny thing. Yeah. They, they want, he could. He'd be better than some Desmond Ritter and Marcus Mariota. And some Taylor Honey. No, Marcus Mariota is not there no more. Taylor Honey. He in Philly. Yeah. That's I didn't even weird. know that. That's crazy. That's a weird thing. Like, you telling me Jalen Hurts backup is Marcus Mariota, bro? Like, that's. And that's another thing. Like that's why I'm. How did Marcus Mariota get <laughs> go from Heisman, bro? Yeah. To nothing. Like, I don't understand. Like I, I don't. And that's why I, I can't be uh, a scout or anything, bro. Because I don't understand the 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 what's it called the skill gap from college to NFL. Because like you can't. You telling me this man is balling. In the league, I mean, in, in college, right? Yeah. Heisman and can't do that in the NFL, and I know it's different, but it's just like, how is it different? Like, what do you? What is the difference that you see on this field that you don't see on another field? Like, and I, and trust me, I'm saying I know there's a difference, but I want to know so I can understand, right? Because it to like right now, looking at it from like a fan perspective, it don't make sense. There's no, it don't make sense. You, you could, you just turn that sorry, bro. And I'm not even trying to say they sorry because they better than me, but from a fan position, yeah. bro, come on, dog. I was rooting for Marcus Mariota, bro. He, he, he was the reason I kind of became a, a, a Oregon fan. I was, he was, he was balling that year. Him and, him and Jameis. You know who's somebody else that was like, Phenomenal in college and just like was just trash in the league. Mm-hmm. Johnny. Oh yeah, I see. But have you seen any of that little interviews that he went that he was doing, like little clips uh, and stuff? Shay Sharp, yeah, yeah. I watched I, half of it. I gotta finish. I ain't really watch. I just was watching some of the clips, but I was like. I could, I, I see it. I see why. Because I never understood, I never, that's another person I never understood either, bro, because it's like, how you go from, you said you didn't even watch film in college. Getting Heisman not watching film is crazy. <laughs> and then the only reason, I feel like, no, nah, the only reason he went down was because he got drafted by the Browns. If he went to another team, he won. He would have got his act together. But the Browns was just so bad. Like they, they was just, they was banking on Johnny Manziel to turn him around, like Baker Mayfield did. Like you know, taking him to yeah. taking him to the playoffs. 
And like he I don't know. He yeah, no. Nah, the Browns just wasn't ready for him. It wasn't the yeah. it even though he had all that other stuff going on with his life, the Browns really was not ready to get a player like Johnny Manziel because he was just – they weren't good enough. They couldn't yeah. help him out. So they just tossed him – after, like, what, five games, they just tossed him to the woods, bro. <laughs> like, they done started – The Browns is t- like crazy too, bro. They really had a whole quarterback thing where like they've started or drafted like maybe twenty quarterbacks in like the past like twenty years. Like how? And none none of them can pan out, bro. Like. And then yeah. Deshaun on that. Deshaun walked us there. Deshaun on that daggone train, too. Ain't pinning out. But he has been hurt, so I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of that like, this, this year. Yeah. I remember that draft that Johnny got drafted. And I had to literally, not force, but I had to beg my mom. Because that's how much of a Johnny fan I was. I had to beg her to watch to continue to watch it to see him get drafted. Because he got drafted so late. And my bedtime was nine, and he didn't get drafted like 10-something. He was a late-round pick. He was a late-round pick. I thought he was 10. And it was actually um the Cowboys that drafted him. They just didn't keep him. That's news to me. I did not know that. Yeah, the Cowboys drafted him. I guess they waived him, or they just didn't keep him. That's when he went to Cougar. Ew! Yep. So you telling me they could have had a? I mean, he could have been on America's team, and not that. That's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, they want the Cowboys wasn't the like that. He was he he was too he would have been too out there for the Cowboys. He would he would have probably exposed Jerry just. <laughs> They was not about to have him up there. So that was probably the better on both sides. Because he wasn't he wasn't the last of that though. It's definitely. But uh tell me about it though, man. What was um what was childhood like for you? Childhood? It was straight. I mean, I was a I was in, I was more of an inside outside child, you know. If I had friends that came over, not on the door, I'd go outside. But I wasn't really gonna be outside, like you know, playing by myself. But oh yeah, I was like one of them children. I ain't really. I was a. I played video games. Didn't really, but I wasn't really a video game. Like, if you know what I mean? Like, I could play. I played games. I had the systems, but I, I wasn't like inside, like you know, game freaking for real. But my, I feel like I say my childhood was solid. What was that like, though, man? Like you can wake up and you have mom and dad in the house, coming from a two parent household. What was that like growing up? To to me, I mean, I can't say uh, it was a difference because I I saw that's what I knew. Like I like growing up. I didn't know a lot of people didn't grow up in a two two parent home. So like that was just a a normal for me, like two parents. I ain't never really I ain't really go over like people's houses or anything. So to know like they live with only like one parent. So I that wasn't really something that was like I was really thinking about. So it was, it was, I guess it was a, I ain't say guess. It was, it was good to now, like, looking back from it now, I'm, I'm glad, I'm thankful that I had grew up in a two-parent household. That's like, that's always been, like, my goal and dream since I was little, 
to have my dad and my mom to be together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were, I didn't know that until, I didn't notice till later as I got older, but my mom and my dad, they were just friends, you know, mm -hmm. messed around, had me. And, and by that time, my mom was already with someone and my dad would move on with someone who eventually became my stepmom. Mm -hmm. And I, I hated her for the longest because I felt like, you know, you know, you're young, you know, you feel like that person took your dad away from you. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. And, and what's crazy is, so, like I said, my mom and my dad weren't together. They were just like friends. And when my mom was pregnant with me, she was already with the other guy. Mm -hmm. So you automatically assume that's your father. Yeah. And so <laughs> that's not either one's fault, you know what I'm saying? But I was actually named after him. After who? The guy that she was with. Because everybody assumed. Oh, and they didn't. He was my oh. dad. And so for the first two years, like on my birth certificate, I was named after, I was a junior. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. And so, okay, my fault. Guess my fault. what? Guess what? His name was Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where my name comes from. And then after those two years of my life, I don't know. Somebody on his side was in his ear about, uh, I don't know if this is yours. Oh, he's yours. And they did the blood work and finally realized he wasn't my dad. And, you know, my mom wasn't out there like that. So there was only other one possibility, which was mm -hmm. my real dad. And yeah. So like, of course he was upset. He was mad. You know, Kendrick was, you know, uh, he wanted my mom to change my whole entire name. Like, take away Kendrick and everything. Sheesh. Yeah, he was, Man. like, upset. He was I hurt, go hurt, like anybody else would. But I don't, mm -hmm. my mom um, was like, no, we're, we're not doing that because it wouldn't be fair to this kid. We're calling him one name the first two years and then something else. Mm -hmm. So, um... She just changed my middle and my last name. And I've been that oh, ever since. Well, never mind, because I don't want you to say your whole other government. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's where my name originates from, though. Someone else. Oh, man. That's, that's a wild story. You just learned story. something today. Who, me, or? You just learned something today, man. Oh, yeah, 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 most definitely. <laughs> 20, well, how, how long do you yeah. feel about 20, 20, 20, 21 years? About, no, about to be 20, about 21, 22 years this year, bro. It's crazy. Yep. I mean, I, that was, I did not know that at all. Yep. yep. I couldn't imagine you being I uh, didn't. another Kendrick, bro. I couldn't, anything other than Kendrick, I don't think I, I, <laughs> I yeah. couldn't imagine it, bro. Yeah. And I didn't even know that story until like maybe a Two, three, four years ago. Yeah. Hmm. So is you? Do you still talk to the other dude? Oh, other yeah. country. And that's the thing about it, because like you would think, if someone realizes that you know he's not the father of of a certain kid, you would think he'll just like forget this kid. I'm leaving and never hear from him again. Mm -hmm. That's what most guys do anyway. But nah, he stayed active in my life you know he would call my mom ask how I was once I got older I had an actual phone he got my number he would always call text well, that's cool yeah like when I went to um he lives in DC now well like kind of like DC Maryland um when I went to DC last year like I went to saw him yeah I got on everything yeah that's good to have a relationship bro I mean you don't never I always got to have good relationships with everybody in your life, man. Even though if they don't deserve it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you remember most 
What do you remember most about um middle school? <laughs> most about middle school, bro. I remember everything about middle school. <laughs> I wish not. I don't even tell the I don't remember everything. I remember a majority of stuff. Yeah. What you? I, I mean, the 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 main thing that I remember, bro, is our yeah. little old notes, man. I notes. <laughs> I, yeah. I, and to this day, I really wish I could. I really wish I kept them joints, bro. Yeah, I really wish we could. If I would have kept them joints, that would have been a good piece of uh, history. You you want me to tell them what I know as well, bro? <laughs> what was it? it what it was the um, it was like the uh, the wrestling cards, right? Mm-hmm. Like who will fix who? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we used to go crazy, you know. It was we did the, uh, we did about five six matches. <laughs> we wrote it down, wrote it down. We even did the women's matches, and then we did the main event. That just was, was mm, but other the other stuff I remember. I remember. <sighs> Let's see. Sixth grade. Then you <laughs> did, 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 did you did you fight somebody in sixth grade, bro? Uh you, it wasn't kind of <clears throat> you Marquis, you remember Marquis? Okay. So I forgot what we was doing, man. Um Oh no 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 no! I remember it. I I remember it. you and Marquise, bro, because wanted. I feel like y'all beefing over some female. Wanted, or was that different? Mm-hmm. Want a yeah. female? Oh dang! Then that's my fault. It was some type of a thing that um, I don't even know what it was, but like I was um, standing out of the um, doorway. Watching people walk, you know, whatever. Then this dude just randomly came up to me and just smacked me, bro. Bro, what? So I smacked him and he tried to run. I'm like, no, 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 no. Got him. And it just happened. One of the um, principals was walking, called us. So, like, I, we got I, in trouble. I swear, God. I remember going in the bathroom and you were beefing with somebody, bro. Right? You wanted to fight somebody so bad. I forgot who it was. But I remember, because I, I remember you and your glasses, bro, right? just standing there, just ready. <laughs> I don't even remember that one. <laughs> I don't remember either. Um, man, I remember just so much stupid stuff happening. I remember in sixth grade, I got an acorn thrown on my ear and I got ISS. <laughs> and Miss Carbonara Club. I remember that, bro. Dayron threw an acorn on my ear, and I and I I yelled out in class, and she kicked me out, sent me to the principal's office, and I got ISS because I be I was talking in class. Yep. Uh, let's see. You remember? You remember Miss Smith? We made a cry. I made a cry. We all made a cry. Oh, what remember when she was pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> we all made a cry, bro. We... <laughs> Damn. I was about to say, uh, somebody that I ain't going to say the name, bro. I remember when it was an early morning. You used to remember she always used to have coffee every morning, bro. Every morning? Yeah, she used to have what coffee. What grade was this? It's like... No, this is like seventh grade because she moved. She moved from being over by the uh, the bathrooms, going going out to the EC building, to the seventh grade part of the building. If you know, oh, dang. right beside Mister Pierce, in the seventh that was grade Ms. building. Smith, that was beside her, right? Yeah, 
That's who you talking about, Miss Smith? Yeah. Yeah. Who are you talking about? That's who I was talking about. Oh. You just say Yeah, I'm saying I'm, I was talking about a a a a one of our friends that I ain't gonna say the name. Oh, you're talking about a, okay. Yeah, it's so great. He had uh she had always had coffee. And he he went in and just squirted it like a whole thing of hand sanitizer. <laughs> She drunk it, bro. She started crying. <laughs> it is bad, but these kids, we were just kids, it's just terrible, bro. <clears throat> like I remember, still remember that year. Remember when we did the, uh, was it Black the Black History? I forgot. And they, I think it was Black History or something. And they did like little dances and whatnot. Like some females, I forgot who it was. They did dances and it won't uh in school. They the school day then uh what's it called? They didn't approve of the dance. Made her cry. Mm-hmm. Like she was crying over everything. I remember I think I think I made her cry one time, bro. I said something by accident. She had started crying, bro. Uh, middle school was just a good time. <laughs> Seventh grade, we had all the uh, the blacks versus Hispanics. Yeah, <laughs> that was a. Uh, mm. I wish we could go back to middle school. <laughs> Have some. Let's go back in time. I remember us. I remember uh, a time in this coming in our class. Because, you know, like, back in, back then, everybody had to go to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Like, just randomly, just to get out of class. So she got mad one time and just said, you know what? Everybody just, everybody get up, go to the bathroom. And we, we go to the bathroom, man. I remember it was, Quare was in there, Quentin Moore. I think Jesus is in there too, and I I go to the back stall, just just on some wild stuff. Kendra just back then I was just wild man. So I go to the back stall, and I saw this like <laughs> I, I was in there too. I was in there. I know exactly you about to say, bro. I know exactly you about to say. And we <laughs> keep going, bro. Keep going. I don't know what it was. I just saw something at the at the at the um bottom of the toilet, man. I just picked it up and just threw. Bro, I when I tell you, when I tell you, I remember that so vividly. Cause we were just all standing about like in the middle, just standing there. And we, we were just sitting there and all of a sudden we just say, Nope. And we just look. <laughs> and we was like, yo, this man just threw some poop at us, bro. It was just it just it just plot right, like literally it hit nobody. It just plot like right beside us. Yeah. And I just remember I just remember seeing it just flop. That that was that was that was a funny time, bro. I just knew exactly <laughs> what you was going for when you said that too. So. <laughs> and I was in, the, dang, I think that was I think that was before I had got switched because I don't I wasn't in the class with y'all for that long, was I? Because they had switched me out of y'all out of y'all class because y'all had one day run and all them in y'all class. A, no, I wasn't. Yeah, what was he in the class? Was Aaron in your class? Uh, I don't. I don't remember that one. I don't know. Cause I was in the class with Aaron. Cause they had. I don't know why, but they had switched me out of how to. Oh, cause I had Miss Smith homeroom, and they switched me out of Miss Smith homeroom and put me in Miss Davis homeroom, and so they had switched everything up. You remember Miss Davis, bro? The short black lady, right? 
<laughs> yeah, man. She like she got me in trouble a couple of times. You remember when she she got us in trouble for? <laughs> Yeah. And then you remember Mr. Burden, bro? Yeah. 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 What was yeah. You remember um Mitch Fleming? R.I.P. Yeah. Yeah, I, I got Mitch Fleming, bro. This is my first time I've ever seeing it. I remember this one time we I forgot who I forgot what the teacher was, but we had to go to the computer lab. You remember where the computer lab was at? <laughs> right. You just walked right straight ahead, bro. Down that mm -hmm. hallway. Yeah. And what grade was this? I think it was seventh or eighth. I think it was eighth. We had going in. I don't know. No, if it was if it was eighth, we had our own computer lab in the eighth grade building. Yeah, so it had to be seventh. Yeah, because she, I think she was, she, she was, was one of them. yeah, I had to think it was seven. I don't know about your story, it could have been eighth, but I know if we if we went to the computer lab, we were going to the eighth grade one, yeah. And so I remember uh, it was, it was me, Raekwon Jones, and Andy, we were sitting in the back, and one of them dared me. One of them dare me to get on um, P O R N mm -hmm. on one of the computers, and so just again, wow, Kendrick, right? I so I did it right. So I was watching some type of video, and the computer froze, bro. So, <laughs> and the computer can fro froze. And the teacher and Miss Fleming was up there talking, doing whatever. So they was about to do their daily, like walking around, see what everybody's doing. So I was like, so I just cut the computer off and moved and went over it to somewhere else. So they thinking the reason why I moved because they was talking loud, being disruptive. So I Who moved, time? but really, but really, I think froze. I ain't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Oh gosh, and I knew, and I knew it was oh. one of them too. And, and, and I know it was probably most likely Andy that told you to get on the bro. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> I know it was Andy that told you, bro. Oh no, 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 that's I don't even. Let me see. Let me. You remember when we got to school one day and uh, all both uh, uh Mr. Pierce hamsters had down. <laughs> oh, always felt like oh, dead rat. Oh, bro, <clears throat> and they said somebody killed him. Oh man, <laughs> that was dang. What else, bro? I just remember in uh, eighth grade, the graduation day, we everybody threw Mr. Oliver and the janitor in the trash can. <laughs> and I yeah. remember when Dom Dominique did a backflip off the sink and broke it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> uh... Dang. You remember school, any fights? Too. Fights? Yeah. Yeah. I remember, um, I remember fifth grade or sixth grade. I remember, uh, who was it? I think it was Sam fighting. Sam fought this dude named Tyrell, bro. With the fro. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro, I never forget that one, man. Cause that was that was the day I was like, nah, I don't think I can, I, I don't think I can mess with Sam, bro. Wasn't he the one that we was like leaving, go to the buses, and Sam was doing something. He just walked out and not and stole off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. It was on the um, it was on the, it was you know, it was on that main path going towards the buses. 
Not yeah. the under the breezeway. Yeah. It was just that main path, that long path. It happened right yeah. there, bro. And I just remember, I remember playing this thing. I remember talk, Buddy getting up, bro. Look just like this. I said, <laughs> oh, no. I said, I'm not messing with Sam, bro. He became my friend that day, I believe. And we were cool ever since. I ain't never, I ain't, I won't bother to get no type of beat down because, because he, I don't even think, he, <laughs> one time, he, he lucky he tried to fight me, bro. <laughs> but it was like a split second. It was like, you know, when he was in the, in the cafeteria and he had to drop off our lunch trays. It was right there. And it was just so crowded. And he kept pushing me, bro. I was like, bro, back. I said, back up, bro. He said, what's up then? I said, oh, you got it, bro. I just turned around, put my junk in. And when I didn't know, I, won. I was not about to. Mm-mm. Vice, I remember. Um, remember Kianana? Kianana? The, you let the girl tall girl. She was tall. I can't. I, I can't. I, this is the, all I know is her name. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Who she fought? She fought a uh, dirty bond. <laughs> she fought dirty bond in the in the breezeway, bro. We were coming yeah. on the bus. Uh, <laughs> who else? I remember Elaine beating up Adam in eighth grade. Yeah. Everybody beat up Adam at some point. I was telling I was telling Lee that the other day. I was like, bro, I don't know how he didn't kill himself in middle school. I'm sorry. Because the way they did him in, in middle school, eighth grade, oh. Anybody would have it would any would have probably not went back to school. They jumped that man every day. He <laughs> ran <laughs> I, I remember I t- I was telling Lee this story too. I was like, I remember one day in eighth grade. Um, we had all went to the bathroom. We was in Mr. Oswald class, and we all went to the bathroom. And you know, we were all, we were all in there, and they, it was. I ain't trying to say no names, bro. It was just, it was just a funny thing. It was just funny. It was all of us in there, and uh, they, they, they was jumping him, bro. And me being me, I don't do none of that. I was just a bystander looking. I just, you know, felt a little froggy. So I said, <clears throat> I hit him in the head, bro. Just, and, just, and just walked out. Out of all people that jumped that man, they said, hey, Dennis, come back to the bathroom. Come back to the bathroom. I said, so I sneak out of the bathroom. I go in there. This man, Adam, come out the cut, start choking me, bro. <laughs> bro, I tell was like, I was just getting. Ch- I'm like, bro, what? Ain't nobody trying to help me, bro. <laughs> they just sitting there watching. And I, I, I and then I think I, I don't. I forgot how long it lasted. And then I forgot. I think somebody came in the bathroom after that. Yeah, Miss. I think Mr. Oliver came in the bathroom and just said, "All right, everybody, get out." And then we had to get out. <laughs> But yeah, I remember. Um, you remember Amber Austin? Mm-hmm. I remember when her, Jenny, and and uh, what's the other one? What's her name? Like, uh, well, you remember her? Her and Jenny was always together in middle school. Yeah, I remember. What she look like? She was. He was Hispanic. She was a, she was a mm-hmm. bigger Hispanic girl. I want to say it's lost something. I, I forgot her name. We were her and Jenny always together, bro. And I remember, we was in Mister Oliver class, and Amber was just talking crazy, bro. Like just just talking crazy, slurring her words, bro. Just talking, just we was like, bro, what's wrong with you? Whole mm-hmm. time, they were sipping on some orange juice of vodka. <laughs> she was drunk in class, bro, going crazy. She, I ain't, I ain't. That was the first time I, I seen somebody drunk, but I didn't know she was drunk. 
Cause she was just she was just talking. She was like, ooh, ooh. I was like, yeah. <laughs> It was had a whole. It was it was in the um water bottle too, bro. Full of just orange juice and vodka. I was like, "Come on, dog." Mm-hmm. <laughs> you remember when Kofa pushed old girl in the? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> bro, that was good. Bro, put... and what happened? Put... What happened for her to do that? Cause he had they had did something, but it wasn't even too hurt. Like he, she, I think she had did something by accident to him, and he got mad or something, bro. And what was it? He did he throw her, or, he, or she pushed him into the trash can or something, bro? See, he either pushed her or like threw her into the recycle bin. Oh man, I remember that. Cause I think, cause then Kofa have glasses. Mm-mm. No, I remember. I don't think he had that. Cause I remember somebody got into it with somebody and their glasses flew off and hit me in my lip. And I thought it was that one. But yeah, it's that, I remember she was slapping him up. Yeah. <sighs> Middle school, bro. It's just <laughs> there's still people to this day that I like. I think about that. I'll be like, "Dang, where are they at?" You remember this dude named Daniel? And it was like middle school, the about? white dude. Was he kind of? Was he kind of like a brainiac? Kind of like a yeah. He was real. He was smart. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I remember him. Where bro at? I don't know. And you want to know who I found on, on Facebook like a while ago that she her name just randomly popped to my head. I'm like, let me search her. Naima. <laughs> I just randomly searched her one. I was like, bro, let me, let me where's she at? Uh, she married now, bro. Just all that doing good. I was like, yeah. But I just never, 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 never forget. I got called into the office one day, bro. It was me, me, Kier, and so we got called into the guidance council office, bro. And you remember Miss Key? Yeah. That never take us serious, bro. Cause I can't, I can't, I can't. Looking at her, bro. I'm sorry. But anyway, I'm sorry. I was, I think, it was me, Saul, and Kiera. Right. We got caught. Uh huh. We got called okay. in there. I got called in there two separate times. Well, I think one with Kiera and one with Saul, bro, or something. She, they called me in there because she had wrote her diary. And it's not funny because I don't know if it's true or not. She wrote her diary that she said they said. She, that Kiera was going to choke her with a pink shoestring. <laughs> I got caught in there because I was laughing. <laughs> and I don't even remember her saying that. And I was like, yo. And then I got me and Saul was in there. No, that's for another person. That was for, that was for her, Naima. I got caught in there for for Saul because of Brittany Sigmund. <laughs> and here you go, me. They said that so <laughs> allegedly she had got called a zombie. And I got in trouble. She called me, she said me because I was laughing. And I don't remember. So both the times I got called, I was just in the vicinity because I was laughing. Yeah. And she got called to a song, people, bro. <laughs> and you know what's funny? <clears throat> I seen her mama like a few months ago. Boy. Oh, boy, boy. I got to keep my comments to myself. <laughs> you remember Kevin? You remember Britney Sigmund, bro. 
Yeah. Can you remember Kevin? Yeah. Kevin. That as soon as you said that name, that don't so mad. That don't make me so mad, bro. Bro. I don't even remember. I have no I, I just remember him. I just have no memories of what the stupid stuff he used to do. Did he he I know he used to stink. He used to do some I forgot, bro. I forgot what he used to do. I know he used to make me so mad. Because I think... No. Wait. I feel like... Did he go to Southern Wayne with us? For like a year or something? I think so, yeah. If he did, I think he was in ROTC. <clears throat> yeah, bro. If he did. Maybe I'm thinking about Nathaniel. You remember Nathaniel? Yeah. Rackley. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rack. <laughs> oh. You know who else used to get in fights a lot? Who? Juan. Juan, 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 Juan. Juan who? Panetta. Oh. Big, oh, yeah. Yeah. Juan with me, bro. <laughs> Him and his brother was a tag team. Him and Mario. Yeah. You find one, you see the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I remember this going back to high school. I remember high school. He uh he Juan stole off on uh you remember Juwan facing tall? Yeah. He stole we was all we was all on the um the uh patio, the RTC patio. I forgot what they was doing. Juan just said <clears throat> the stop. Uh, but yeah, no. Boy, they're cool people. I ain't seen I ain't seen them in a minute though. I think I, yeah, I ain't I ain't seen Mario in a minute. I seen one. Yeah, I think I seen I seen one in, in Lowe's like maybe within the last year. I ain't seen Mario in a minute. Dang. When you when you when you brought up Danny, I only got one story with Danny. Like we, you remember we used to play dodgeball and all that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was like, oh, I, I mean, I still am, but like at that time, like I was a real, real big, like sore loser. So like, obviously, I got out. Somebody hit me with the ball, and I think he got hit too because he was out. I guess he was just watching, and um, I got mad. Like, so I I left going on uh, the bench. And it was like, he was, it's okay, man. It's all right. And he tied, uh, kind of like dapped me up a little bit. And I was like, mm-hmm. nah, man. get out of here. <laughs> no, but you said we were playing, we were playing Dodge Roll or Jailbreak. It was one of them. You played Nah, because I guess Jailbreak was really that game. Like, nah, everybody was intense in that game because you had to hit the. You had yeah, to hit yeah, the, the, the cone. Yeah. And it was everybody was just like, I forget. Dang, that brings back a memory now. Jailbreak. Eight, like, all I remember is eighth grade. We didn't even, we didn't even do gym, bro. All we did was play basketball every day because the coach chasing. Mm-hmm. Was you was you in what did you have gym you had gym with coach chasing? What did you have? Did you have Lynch? Oh, no, not Lynch. Yeah, did you have Lynch? I think I had Lynch. Yeah. He was only there for seventh grade. Who was who was there eighth grade? Oh, no, it was just Chasen and uh, Miss Murphy. I think. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it was Chasen seventh grade year. Chasen, Lynch, and then Miss uh, Murphy, Coach Murphy. I remember watching my. <laughs> or, uh, you got a zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. Hey, Cousin, what you got? Zero. <laughs> I remember he used to say, uh, 
he uh, his favorite thing used to be uh the ice cream paint job joint. I forgot what he used to, what part he used to say. I think he, he used to say something from ice cream paint job, but he used to just repeat it every time. Coach <clears> Chelsea, <throat> my boy. I remember when uh seventh grade they were going through uh coach coach Lynch bag and they said they found coach. Oh. I know you know you know who you uh you know oh, wait what was I about to say do you remember um Everardo yeah I remember the name I can't put a face on it oh you know who Everardo is bro Everardo he was like yeah he was like seven seventeen eighth grade. Yeah. Do you remember when crazy. um I think I think he was there, but whichever game it was, jailbreak or dodgeball when um Mario and Elaine fought. No. Oh, you want there? I think I feel like I rem- I rem- if I remember it, I remember hearing about it because like it vague I vaguely like like remember like that those two names together like fighting I re- like it just clicked into my memory, but do I remember it? No, uh-uh, I don't remember. It. You remember when the the two Allens fought? It was Allen oh. Dickerson and um Dickerson. Allen. Yeah, no, <laughs> Alan Dickerson, Alan, uh, what was the other one? Alan, what was it? It was some other Alan. And yeah, boy, I remember that. <laughs> I read that one. You remember when, um, you remember when Reckon East fought somebody? I forgot who she fought, but she fought somebody about the lunch room. I think so. I just can't remember who. I remember it because I remember Mr. Grandy kicked me out of class because when when she walked in, I just. <laughs> uh, um, I remember when uh, in eighth grade, Elaine Elaine fought uh Adam, but it wasn't really a fight. Adam, I mean Elaine just really just stomped that stomp, bro. It was like early in the morning, bro. Like early breakfast time. I come down the eighth grade hallway. <laughs> he can bro. <laughs> no parts. <laughs> no parts. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Middle school is a crazy yeah. time. Middle school is lit, bro. <laughs> I don't know, because it's like all this stuff is just. I'm thinking about some stuff in, from middle school and I'm trying to think of it. It's just like, it's like a whole bunch of stuff happened. I remember when Dominique used to just randomly just say, everybody clear out and just start flipping. Flip down the the, the hallway. No. There's one person that well, there's a few, but like like you were saying, like people that you randomly think about and just like wonder where they're at. Mm-hmm. You remember you remember Roxana? Yeah. Yeah. I did she go to Southern Wayne with us? She did, but like you know, she like even back then she wasn't really big on social. Yeah, yeah, social yeah, yeah. I do. I about to say I. I feel like I. But you know who I saw like a year or so ago? Rachel Triplett. Really? Yeah. Okay. And you know, you remember? Her? I, I remember. Her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it was just like, you know how like you see somebody in public that you know, 
or you like you like you know the face, but you don't just know don't know it's actually them. That's exactly how it was. I seen it. <clears throat> I seen her, but I was like, nah, I ain't gonna look again because it's like that's weird if I look again. And I walked by her and she said my name. I was like, oh snap. I ain't like literally I ain't seen her since middle school. Like eighth grade, I had not seen her at all. I was like, dang. It's crazy. I wish I could have like a I wish I had a yearbook from those years so I can know. But I was looking at you know, go to Brian and say, hey, can I get the yearbooks from 07 to 2011? Mm-hmm. I got the yearbook for um, senior year high school, yeah, but I don't got anything. That's the only yearbook I got. I'll be looking at that. I'll be like, I graduated with these people? Yeah, my thing, my thing is Filled with notes and stuff, people I don't want to talk to now. <laughs> you. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's just it's just people that ask, like, "Hey, how you doing?" I ain't gonna have a full conversation with some of the people. Yeah. Can you believe next year will be ten years, bro? Ten. You gonna go to the classroom? Maybe. <laughs> Everybody got kids now, man. It's weird. It is. But it's, yeah, it is weird, bro. Like, you walking in, ain't got no kids, and they coming in with three foes. It's like, man, they, ain't, they better <laughs> not bring no kids. I don't want to see no kids at no classroom. Yeah. Hmm. Who was your um biggest crush during middle or high school? Middle? Uh I think he, my middle one was I remember Jasmine. Middle school. Rogers. Yeah. Okay. And like that one, it it was funny because like I think she knew and you wanna know who she got with? Jerry yeah, she... Rice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, dang, bro. That was a that was so weird. But high school, nah, cause the people that I say at high school are still single, and I ain't trying. I, I ain't trying to shoot my shot at them right now. But if they <laughs> if they if they did see this, uh... <laughs> oh. But high school, it was. I can tell you, I I can tell you one. Okay. I wrote in her yearbook. I said, "You will, you, you will forever be the finest girl to ever walk through Southern Way." And that was that was Sarah Richards. Solid, solid, solid. But that's probably true. But yeah, that's that's the only one I'm gonna name. <laughs> yeah, I think I told you mine before. I probably forgot. I feel like yeah, I have forgot because I feel like it was. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed who. You know, it's one of those things where, like, <laughs> it's just like the most beautiful woman to you at the time. Uh-huh. When you get older, it's like, yeah. Not saying that she's not cute or anything. It's just like, I don't know why I was so hyped. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm the same vibe no more. <clears throat> Amaya. Who? 
Maya. Boy game? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason I, I had a lot of classes with him. I I could I cause I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't go there. Yeah. Me, yeah, no, man, no. Yeah. I, I see, I see, I see light skin, like pretty light skin. So I understand at that time. Mm-hmm. At that time. And my and my second one, she was light skin too. Who? Monty. Oh. Yeah. I mean that's on that one is on them. Yeah, yeah. Very understandable. It'd be like that. That was my two. Well, ain't the two no more, is it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because one has, you know, Maya has a daughter now, right? Mm-hmm. I think Maya has someone now too. So, forget it. Everybody find a little bro. Yeah, I got, I got three weddings to go to this year, bro. Three, three, yeah, and I'm in one. Who do I know? Um, well. No, you want to know my cousin, and you want to know my coworker. But do you remember um this dude we went to school with uh Bryce Lee? High school? Yeah. If mm-hmm. not, it's fine. He but he he's getting married. He got it with with us or? Nah, year under. Year under. No. Wait, is he with um like kind of like a Hispanic kind of girl, mm-hmm. white? Mm-hmm. Oh no, I don't know. I know who you talking about, and not that, not that one, because he he already been married, Bryce. Um, I don't know his last name, but I know who you talking about. Oh okay, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been to a, I haven't been to a wedding in like years. Me neither. I think the last wedding I went to was maybe twenty eighteen. Yeah, I think twenty eighteen. Yeah. Hey. There was a wedding that happened like a couple what was it? a while ago that I wanted to be a part uh-huh. of, but he didn't he didn't invite us. <laughs> I know, bro. He ain't, he ain't no, no invite. I'm gonna hold that on him forever. Oh, for sure. But I understand. But- Oh yeah, I understand too. You know, it would love to be there. I was like, yeah. but um, I did a lot. The last time I went to a wedding was twenty twenty one, twenty one, two, one, twenty one, twenty twenty one. Yeah, that was the last one I went to. All the way in Charlotte. Mm. You get married? Eventually. <laughs> That's the goal, huh? Eventually. Marriage stops for nobody. <clears throat> you can be you can be twenty get married, you can be ninety get married. And if you find somebody, you find somebody. My uh my last question for you is uh what are some qualities that you look for? And a potential wife. And what are some things that that's like a deal breaker, like turn off? 
Um, one. They gotta be <sighs> laugh at anything. Oh, that's all it is. All right, if you if you if you can if you can laugh at anything, cool with me. Cause cause I laugh at anything. Like any anything that is just like if I chuckle, I'm I'm a laugh. Like it's just laugh at anything, and everything. That's just me. So like you ain't got no sense of humor. Yeah, that's a turn off for me. No sense of humor. Um. I mean, I don't really talk about much. If you I, if you can follow sports, if you know the difference between football and basketball and can sit there and watch, I don't care. That's all right. <laughs> we can just, just, chill, just chill and watch the game. That's yeah. um, I mean, I ain't too, I ain't I ain't got too picky. But and another thing, the top three is yeah, being able to laugh at anything, being able to watch sports with me, and not talk about the music I listen to. That's a don't yeah, I don't like when people disrespect the type of music I'm listening to. If I got if I got on some heat, let me let my heat play. If you don't like it, just sit there and don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, like I, like I, I don't want to hear it every time what song is playing. Like I don't like the song, or like why are you listening to him or why are you doing that? Yeah, like yeah. I don't want to hear that. Like if I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna listen. Like if you don't want to listen, I mean I ain't gonna be mad if you skip the song, but just don't skip the song. <laughs> but. I mean, yeah, I ain't, I ain't not too picky of a person. That's just uh, what I. That's all, really. I can't really say too much. Um. Say what? I got you. Oh. I hear you. Okay. Don't live in Ghostboro. <laughs> Can't handle yeah. Wayne County Shorty, bro. Anything in the this vicinity of North Carolina, I gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah. That's true. true. For me, it's because you know me. I'm big on like not wanting anyone <clears throat> that drinks or smokes. Mm -hmm. That's like number two for me. Nice, like top two for me. Number three, uh, someone that's not um, family oriented or like doesn't want kids and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't see the point of us even having a conversation. <laughs> like, you can be my soulmate and not want kids, but I'm sorry, I gotta find another soulmate. <laughs> like, unless, unless I'm really. Like at an age where I can't, where kids is like, why are you having a kid? Then, then nah. Uh, like I say, what people be having kids at fifty years old? That's crazy. Yeah, but yeah, if I did, like, say, if I waited this long and like got married at fifty, I ain't gonna be too mad. But right now, if I've got married and you say no kids, you saying no to me. What's your no, what's fine. your age, what's your age range? How old am I? Twenty six, twenty seven. So I would say I always like at least like four years younger than me. So I would say like let me not say four years, but I say anything after twenty one, right? Really, twenty one, but. Really, like, if I wanted to date somebody, I would do like a couple years younger or like a couple years older. Like, nothing too big of a gap. Because I don't want no too old of a woman uh, to be take care of me. And too young of a female to be taking, like, 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, I really, uh, I really appreciate you, man, taking the time out to talk to me. Yes, sir. This was a joy. This was fun. Yeah, bro. And there was a topic that I want to get into, but I don't have time. <laughs> Just like the whole that wrestling era, get into that. Next time. Hey, I mean, you know, my 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 knowledge from wrestling stops at like about what, 20, like 2011, 2012. 20, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, there might be some bits and pieces I might see on Instagram or something like, but yeah, my my knowledge is I, I don't know why it stopped from right there, but it just stopped from so you know, yeah. my span. Them from because I was I went back and watched like from like 05 like the rest of us from 05 bro nostalgia it's crazy <laughs> and then I watched the uh, the the pay-per-view joints that you couldn't watch I couldn't watch either yeah I was watching from order and then I went to the pay-per-view at that order and I went back and then that pay it's crazy how like <laughs> like the, the times has just changed just grew out of it hmm just grew out of you. Yeah, I would say. Mm-hmm. Cause like, and then I was watching some of the new stuff now, and it was just like, I feel like if I started now, it it'll be just like I started when I first started watching. Yeah, I just be learning everybody new because there's everybody in there is new, like everybody, like it's yeah, yeah, about a good 10, 15 years since I watched, so it's like new people, like. People that I when I start watching are not there. Like they say, when I was looking at years and stuff, when I say I start watching, they say like, well, who was it? I think like Seth Rollins or somebody was like in like twenty eleven. Like, I don't remember, bro. I don't, I don't remember, bro. Back then, like, like people, it was just it's just crazy, but. It look it it looks like. Let me ask you, since tr- since Triple H had took over the WWE, do you think it like mm-hmm. got better? I think or so. Is it like because there's certain like you you, you remember Vince, bro? Like mm-hmm. like there's certain things that Vince would do where. It's like no matter what other people may think, like he's gonna do what Vince wants to do. Mm-hmm. Like it's just automatic. So like if he's gonna force someone on you to, for you to like him, he's gonna do it to the point where it's like, like why are you doing this? But yeah. with with Triple H, it's like it's more opportunities for more people to to um shine or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um because you don't want to see the same people over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah that, that was that was the problem back then. But then again, when you when you saw the same people, they were actually it was a, they were actually doing what they needed to do. If you know, if like if you know what I mean, like they they did they they did their job very very well. Like that whole era, like he got you got to give it up to Vince for that era. But like from from like whenever. My, me personally, like, because I remember I started watching second, third grade. So when mm-hmm. I started watching that, that was that time right there was like really the best time of a WWE for me, bro. Like, I feel like any at any point, I don't know if you agree, but to me, like that point of like that span from like before it went to the PG era. Yeah. Yeah, that era right there, that it was just a like peak of WWE, right? So like then, oh, oh, 07 to like what 2012, 11, something like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cause like you had John Cena at the top, bro. And like if you hated John Cena, you were just a weirdo. Like how you how you hate John Cena? <laughs> like Yeah. And then like you had Randy Orton that was just the the biggest. They he he was always the enemy. 
him and him and Edge was always the enemy. And it was like, and they teamed up together. Ray Dark is like, come on, bro. Like, you, the way the stuff just like pieced together, it's yeah, like a, it's like a masterpiece. Yep. You still have Sean going strong. Oh, Triple H. Sean. Take her. Exactly. Punk. And it's like, and th- they were like, they were young, but they wasn't like they only taking them like late thirties, early forties when they in that, that spend of time, bro, going crazy. <laughs> After being being in there for like twenty plus years, like, like that man Undertaker was really when I was watching how many was he was twenty and zero in WrestleMania, bro, around the time I was watching. You talking about twenty years of WrestleMania and he undefeated, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, come oh, on, man! And it's still like still be on a high level. I mean, it's just it's like, I don't know. So is it watching it like the new age now? What would you yeah. say would be the difference? As far as the actual wrestling or just in general? In, like, in general. Because I know the wrestling, I mean, you can't really change up how many ways you can fake hit somebody. Yeah. Um, biggest difference. It's it's more, I can say, not to say back then wasn't as... Uh, It's just more revenue within it now versus back then, like more sponsors and just. So you it's, can it's you more, can, you know what I mean. You can it's tell just, they making more money. That's what you're saying. Like yeah, you can tell, like versus now. Yeah. Yeah. I I see it. I don't like they it. they they make more. Not to say they didn't do it back then, but it's like more evident now. But like they might. They made decisions based off of what they're going to get out of it money-wise. Like, at the end of the day, no matter what we want as far as fans, they're going to make their business decision as far as money-wise. So, is it... So... Like, do you is remember... It, is it like, still predictable? To a certain extent. To a certain yeah. extent. Wait, like, do you on? do you remember, um, literally just a couple of weeks ago when like the whole situation with Rock and Cody? Do you see all that? I heard about it, but I didn't really like look into it. Cause one, it ain't it. Oh yeah, cause I think I remember saying like, "Why is the Rock coming back for like the tenth time?" Like, mm-hmm. bro, just stay retired, bro. Like, just. Stay- <laughs> how much like how much of your name can you use in the WWE? I know you got your name from the WWE, but at this point, like how much can you just use your name for the yeah. WWE? And it's like, bro, like I understand it's a nostalgia, like you got the old the older wrestling I mean wrestling fans that want to see the rock. But don't nobody want to see your old buff tail on that mat, bro. <laughs> I'd rather like I'd rather see Stone Cold and him. That sounds like a hater. <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, what was the what was this the situation between them? So with so Cody left WWE back in 2016. Mm-hmm. And he was just doing his own thing for like seven years and he finally decided to come back right mm-hmm. and he came back as like this big kind of, kind of like john cena level type good guy so mm-hmm. they've been pushing him to be like the next guy you know what i'm saying and so at last year's wrestlemania it was him against roman reigns for the title mm-hmm. and roman won obviously but 
cheating, of course. He had his buddy to, you know, interfere. But um, the whole, I guess, rumor and just kind of like, once again, like you said, predictability was it they were going to run it back at this year's WrestleMania Part 2. Oh, but The Rock just popped so, in out of nowhere. But, but you remember the Royal Rumble, right? No. What were we remember? Like, you remember the Roy Rumble where like 30 men the only way Yeah, I know Roy Rumble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so like Cody won that. So that guarantees him a title match at WrestleMania. So literally so the Roy Rumble was on a Saturday night. So they do Saturday pay-per-views now. And yeah. So yeah. like he won it on that Saturday. Then Literally the next couple of days on a Friday, which they do Fridays, they do SmackDowns on Fridays now. Then once Cody was about to make a decision, here comes the Rock. And Cody and Rock just shook hands. Cody left and just had a stare down between Rock and Roman, having the presumption that it's going to be Rock and Roman for the title. When Cody clearly won the Royal Rumble, for him to face Roman. But why would they? Why why would they want to include the Rock in, in, in that? And he's not because even a full time wrestler, bro. For the for the past couple of years, that's been like the big. Um, oh wait, didn't the Rock and ah. Rock the Rock and Roman fought before, didn't they? Mm-mm. No, they they've always wanted it. So it was supposed to happen last year, but you know, Rob being an actor, you know, his, his schedule was kind of crazy. So like that was plan A. So Cody last year's WrestleMania was plan B. So he wasn't even really the original guy to have that spot. That's crazy. So how he gotta have a title match, right? Yeah, like because he won the no... <laughs> Right. So what the rock doing there? <laughs> what the dog doing? <laughs> like what the dog doing? Bro? Like why are you there? Yep. I don't... See that? That's crazy. But then again, like when you said they trying to put Cody Rhodes as the good guy. See when I start when I start watching him and um. No, I think he had just started going solo. He got rid of uh DBS. You remember him and him and DBS with Ted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he. I think he had he had just got rid of DBS, and they had just started. Uh, he had just started like becoming Cody Rhodes, like his own name. But he was the, always the enemy, bro. Right? Yeah. Like, he was all yeah. I know. I won't trip him. And then you want to leave and come back and think he's supposed to be headhunter? Well, that's crazy. But then when I was about to get it, I, I remember seeing that uh, Roman Reigns, he, how long he not got the title, bro? Like 1,200 days. Bro. Might be 13. <clears throat> that's three, three years? That's insane. And here I am thinking, oh, John Cena had the, had this WWE title for like six months, and it felt like forever. But three years is crazy. Nah, nah. Yep. Nah. <laughs> nah. Three years is great, and it. Okay, sound like a little nice little story, 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 uh, storyline going. Yeah, man. We'll we'll get into that next time. Hey, you know, <laughs> I'm, I'll be glad to talk about it. For sure, man. Um, man, this has been uh, conversations. We are surely Kendra McKnight here. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And make sure, um, go ahead, let the people know about your socials, man, when they can follow you. Oh, you can follow you can follow me on Instagram, you know, uh Eugene17 underscore. Uh you can follow me on Twitter. Salute Eugene. X. That's really X, all I got. X, bro. Oh yeah. Oh, Twitter X. slash X, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Salute Eugene. But yeah. yeah, that's all the socials I got. 
All right, man. Till next time, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.